Hey guys, it's Hoppin' the Slam Dragon Tamer here, and I'm here. What? And, uh, we're going back to some more Super Paper Mario. Last time, we, uh, were playing as Luigi in Count Blake's Castle. And sadly, Luigi has actually been hypnotized. So, yeah. But, in this episode, we are going to check out Chapter 3. Let's go. <clears throat> Mario and his new friends opened the door, unsure of what they would find. All the while, Whirly's words about finding the other two heroes rang in their minds. Were these other heroes somewhere in this new world, if not where? Meanwhile, the creeping void grew larger in the skies above Flipside. The hopes of all worlds rested on the heroes finding the next pure heart. Chapter 3, 1. When Geeks Attack. Oh my god. I know what chapter this is. And we are in the Minecraft dimension. Everything is blocky. Oh my god, we are in Minecraft. No. But seriously, this is an 8 bit dimension. So this is where that door led leads. I suppose the next pure heart must be must be nearby. That's odd. I can feel it nearby, but where could it be? Well, I'm ack. <laughs> I check and kill. I caught a super rare pixelated butterfly. My friends, it did you buttery. Died near are going to freak when you get a word when you get a word of this find. You must bring it home. You can't miss this week's episode of the Goldest Chronicles. No one am going to introduce the digital work. Record told me how to tape an episode so epic. This is so high tech and cool. Whoa ho ho, a kidnapping. Oh, the despair, the awful spectacle of it all. The shocking scene occurred right before my very own tender eyes. Well, I guess it's game over for that pixel. Now that Francis has got her. Now if we click on this bush. Whoa ho! Is this guy a friend of the butterfly girl that got nabbed? Well, that's a pity. <clears throat> That geek that grabbed her, Francis, basically the nerd to end all nerds. Plus, he's got it, this thing for butterflies, and well, all things nerdy too. If he gets his sweetie, his what? I can't believe I said that. His sweaty mitts on something he likes, there's no getting it back. He collects stuff and keeps it in his big fantasy fortress. It's like a geek paradise. Oh no, you wanted to know where Ford Francis is? Well, if you go all the way down ahead for miles and miles, you'll find it. You're not thinking of infiltrating the nerd lawyer and rescuing her, are you? Look, nobody has ha is ha nobody likes having their butterfly kidnapped by a geek, but it's dangerous. Still set on it, eh? What a good tender moment. I think I got something in my eye here. Listen, let me give you some travel tips. You listening good? All I got, all I got for you is free critical tips. So remember all of them. Here's your first tip: a bunch of no class jerks are hold, are uh, are hold up in this castle up ahead. It ain't gonna be easy getting past them, but here's the juice. It's an old castle. You do your thing with that red X mark, and maybe something will happen for you. Now for my second tip. If you somehow pass those clowns in the castle, you'll see an ocean. Can't miss it. A scary sea monster lives there. The beast is huge and cranky. But if you toast its red flipper thing, something good is bound to happen. And here's the last tip. Once you swim your way through that ocean, you'll see a humongous tree. There's a huge gorge on the other side. There's no jumping across it. Look for the red wind and do something with it. 
with it, then you can get across. Get all, got, get all of that. Good. Be careful now. And by some crazy chance, you do save her. Come back and tell me how you did, how you did it. All right. So that pixel is telling us to go save Tippy and come back when we keep and we save him, but. If you're pretty much a geek like I am, but not as geeky as Francis, you will see how nostalgic this is. If you have if you have been a lot, if you have been alive a lot, a lot, if you have uh, if you were like a kid around the time where the retro games were released, you will feel how nostalgic this is. I wasn't, so I'm an idiot. So right here we got a save album. Not save album. Why am I calling it a save album? Save thing. Oh, we have this. Let's see what this is. It's a shame because we can now no longer bio enemies. Because without Tippy, we cannot buy any enemies. Oh, one of these. Level up. I just got a level up. Your attack went up by one. There's pretty much, uh, uh, when, when or if we do get Tippy back, uh, we, I will uh, obviously come back to chapter 3 and I will bio all the enemies here that there is to bio. So like, we're passing by a ton of new enemies that we can't bio without Tippy. But there was actually something that caught my eye. I actually forgot to mention it. But you're, you're gonna want to switch to Peach here. And just saying, this is probably the only Mario game where Peach is useful. You see that in the background? Well, if you know. Wait, can I actually. Yes, it works. Now we got a spray going. Nothing too bad. Now let's actually switch to Mario. What am I doing? What am I doing? No, you gotta wait till he time. Yes! I also go down the pipe. Alright. And right here we got us a new item. It is. You got a catch card SP, a card that captures a foe's soul. It almost always works. To be honest, that's kind of a, demon a demonic thing to say in a Mario game, rated E for everyone. It's pretty much just like a Pokeball, except it's a card. So I will just show you what it does. And because this piranha plant frustrated me, I will use it on him. Oh no! It didn't work! But yeah, sometimes uh, when you use it on an enemy, it turns it into a card and you can pick it up. No! It did not work. So I'll be right back. Oh, and by the way, just saying, I did not uh, cut back so that I could uh, do the catch card SP thing. But yeah, something cool is about to happen. Oh no! Yep. Nostalgic. Uh, 
Right now, there's nothing you can do here. It's an insta-kill if this thing touches you. What you want to do is run like hell. This thing is an insta-kill. You want to do this. He's just pointing a gun out at you. He's just pointing out her gun. She's making a gun with her hand. She's pointing out. She's going to kill you. I just wanted to tell you that that is actually really cool. That that actually exists in this game. <clears throat> Let's just uh, kill all of these things and let read this sign. New tip. Fall in between the red pipes. But saying that how you're seeing it right now is new tip nip laugh sip hip sip hi dear the in I don't even know. But it's pretty much jump uh, <laughs> I forgot the sign. You want to go in here. And you want to go all the way back. And I'm back. Alright, so we've got save album and it said jump between two red pipes. Can you actually go down any of them? No, you can't. But what it means is. Yes! <laughs> nostalgia! More nostalgia! And also some enemies we can't buy. Oh. So I actually haven't showed the Pal Pills with Princess Peach. It's actually been a while since we've seen Pal Pills. But there are now many Princess Peaches. Oh my god. Yes, we've got many Princess Peaches now following us instead of many Marios. It depends on what character you use uh, for the Pal Pills. Well, that, that Pal Pill Peach, like, did. Like nobody's beating it. And Mario, your dream has finally came true. You can now be with Princess Peach forever. Until these peaches actually make get killed by these Goombas. No, no peach left behind. See that that one just died. Okay, so you want to switch to Peach here and kill all your pal pills. Yeah, but it sucks that we that just died. It sucks that uh, you have to buy all these that we can't buy all these enemies without Tippy. And you think we have to go in that pipe? Wrong. Excuse me, game. You want to go over here and more nostalgia. You want to go down to the, it's the warp pipe. Yes. And I forgot to switch to Mario to go into 3D. Oh crap, there's actually something here. I did not know this existed. You got a Match Cooper card. We have actually. The only time we've seen a match cripple was at the start of the game. The very first video I made on this. That was the, that was the first time we've seen a match cripple. We have not seen a match cripple fight as yet. Now let's go down at warp pipe number two. And let's see what we got here. So. We will continue on our journey. Save Tepe. And the Well In the next episode if I'm not so rudely interrupted. My god. Die. 
so thank you guys for watching. See you guys later. Bye. Next episode is actually going to be the last episode I'm going to be making today. So goodbye.